What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. Today, uh, gonna do something a little bit different. It's not gonna be on the old duty. We're gonna do something on my Ranger. But, uh, you know, I had this headache rack here, this Polaris one with a 400 pound winch that can't pick up shit and the winch went out. But um, instead of having the whole headache rack, I had a guy weld this square tubing right here to length to go from here to there on the back. Just weld, you know, just welded these ends on it right here. And then this uh, winch plate on top as well. So basically I got the holes drilled and I got some bolts and they, they go through here just like the, um, the factory headache, the factory headache rack did. But so we're gonna mount this up top there. That way my glass clears all the, but there's no headache rack on the back glass. It's just this part right here. And then I got this old Harbor Freight winch right there, little 2500 Badland one. And I went and got the synthetic synthetic uh, rope with the fair lead on it as well. So I'll change that wire out to the synthetic and I'll put the winch on there. And I've already done a video on wiring up this pulse bar up top. You can go back and look at that if you wanna learn how, but we're gonna wire the winch into that pulse bar. So what I'll do is I'll take this and get it mounted up on the, the back section right there. Then we'll add the winch and wired up and go step by step. What it is, is basically, I had to get these little bit longer bolts, but this part, sorry, this part right here goes up through here like that, and then the bolts thread into it, you know, just like that. I got this little spacer here because uh, this is a little bit longer than I needed, so these, these spacers will close that gap up real quick. But we'll put this on there, I'll get it mounted up on top, and then we'll go from there. But that way, you know, I don't, I can pick up the deer pretty easy, but when I kill them hogs, man, them some bitches, I don't know because they're so compact or what, I, I usually got to drag a hog to like, you know, a ditch or something in order to pick the hog up. So I'll be able to dump the bed and then bring the winch line down, wrap it around the hog or the deer if it's big, winch that sucker up in the bed and we'll roll. But let me get that, that bar I got welded on, put up top. And once it's on there, I'll show you how it all connects and everything. But I explained it, it shouldn't be that damn hard, but I'll get that sucker put on and we'll go from there. Let's roll. All right, sweat down out here some, but got the got the bar up there now, as, as you can see. We'll go over that here in a little bit, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on free spool and pull this steel cable off. So I can do it one-handed. Anyway, I'm gonna pull all that shit off and then I'll show you how to put the synthetic on there. So once you get all the wire out, if you look and get there right, right here, there's gonna be a little Allen head set screw. So I'm gonna go through these and figure out what size it is. And if you gotta unscrew that set screw and then that'll pull the wire out. All right, so a lot, I, I can't tell what size it is cause this thing's too rusted, but uh, we just take the set screw out and the wire pulls out. So we'll get that in there and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so after jacking with this for a long damn time, that's too thick to go in that hole right there. So I'm just gonna go get a drill bit and waller it out some. So I'll get a drill bit, drill out, and we'll stick it through. All right, I drilled out the hole. You can see all the shavings. I used a, uh, I used this 5 16 bit right here. The, qu the quarter inch was too small. So I just drilled that out and then hopefully, yeah fits right in there so once I get that around I'll show you how to hook, set it up all right so what I was going to do is just uh go ahead and wind that up real quick I had some batteries over there I was going to hook it to but it's I was going to have my wife just come stand on it for me and so I can roll it up tight but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the winch and I've got one hole right here that it can mount in in the middle but I've got to drill through this plate in this bar and put one nut all the way through it. Um, so I'm gonna get the winch up there. It just uh, just mounts with these two two holes right there. So I'm, I'll mark them off, get it up there, drill the hole, I'll mount the winch up there. And once I get it all wired up, then I'll, then I'll uh, you know, wind all this synthetic up. All I did was I put it through there and put the set screw back in it. I guess what you're supposed to do is run it through there loop back through itself and then let the tail come this way and tape it. But literally I'm not ever gonna have this out even probably half spooled. Like all I'm gonna have it out is maybe 
10, 12 feet, just enough to get down to get me a hog. I got a winch on the front for what I need, so it's never gonna come unwound. It's, it'll have plenty of wraps, so this is gonna work for me. You can do it however you want. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll get this mounted up, drill the hole up top on that bar, get this mounted up there. We'll run the wiring, get the wiring hooked up, and then once it's functional, then I'll, that way I can pull tight on this and, and get this rope tight as I'm winding it up. But, um, so another thing I did, uh, this is the fair lead. It was, it was silver. I painted it black. Um, it, it'll probably get scuffed up over time, but that's fine. Um, so I just painted it black and it came with a, a silver winch clevis. Uh, I got a black one in here somewhere. Just, I'm gonna put this black one on it. So just keep it a little, little less shiny, and, but most people wouldn't do that. But we'll get that set up on the, on the top of the bar. And uh, once, once that's done, we'll get it wired up and I'll roll this up at, la at the last, so let's roll. Well, one more thing I'm gonna do. You see this, uh, this little spool, I guess, thing right there? It just kind of, it, it goes behind it. It's held, on, it's held on by these two screws right here. I'm gonna take those two screws out and pull this piece of metal out of here. I don't, I don't, need, I don't need that. So, that way, because this is a lot thicker than the uh the wire that was on it so i don't think it's going to fit in here all 50 feet and i don't want to cut any of the any of the lines so i'm just going to take this little sh flimsy shit out of there all right so i got that hole drilled i just cleaned up all the shavings with my little milwaukee uh vacuum but damn that shit cut the hell out of me bro uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna now mount the winch one one goes here and this other hole goes all the way through so I'll mount the winch and then we'll start wiring it up. All right, boys, so it's day two. You know, gotta get this old latte right here. Oh, dang. Bush. Hey, oh yeah. Got the old latte. Baby sitting right here on the monitor real quick. But I kind of wanted to go over what I got so far. So, you know, the bolts just thread into that, that back piece I put back there. Got all the bolts in there. It's super tight, it ain't going nowhere. You know, put the fair lead on last night, got the, the winch mounted through both holes, and then this one that I drilled, it's all tight now. So really the only thing I've got to do now is the wiring. And I need to roll that synthetic line up there, but we'll wire it first so we got power. So, you know, basically I got, this is for the, the wired controller. This end goes to the winch, this end goes to the battery. Now I, I did a video on, I installed this player's pulse bar. So I'm gonna just wire this winch into this pulse bar right here. The way I'm gonna have it, it's only gonna have power when the key's on, which that's fine with me. So uh, it, this came with a wired and a wireless controller. So all I'm gonna do now is, you know, the black goes to the negative, red goes to the positive. I already tested it out a while ago. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put these wires. I'll zip tie them all up. And, and I'm probably just gonna mount this. I don't know where I'm gonna mount this yet, but we'll get through all that. But once once we get it all set up, then we'll go from there. But and then one and then after we get the power to it, I'm gonna put the synthetic line on it. And then I got two bags of corn in the back of the truck. I'll just strap around there and we'll just do a test run like pulling up a hog or something. So pretty damn simple. Alright, so I drilled a hole right through here. You can do it however you want. I'm gonna silicone that so I'm not worried about any water coming in there. I mounted the controller right here, self-tapping screws on this thin piece of metal. It ain't going nowhere, but the, the ground was too short. So what I did, it was too short by like just a little bit. So I cut it and I got this other piece of wire. I squeezed this end on it and then I'm gonna put a butt splice right here to where it makes it long enough to get to the other. So I'll splice it real quick, but where I mounted it, Cause I got a speaker going right there. That's where my speaker sits and I didn't want to have to move it. So I just spliced it, no big deal. And it won't leak through here because I'm gonna silicone that. All right, so I got it spliced, heat shrank it right there and then melted it right there as well. I'll put some tape on the outside as well, but that's gonna be good enough for me. But I hear my little baby girl crying. So we'll have to start this in a minute. What you doing girl? All right, so I put that butt splice right there. And then I just put some heat shrink on it right here. Um, 
butt splice there and I just heat shrunk that just anyway. So that's where I spliced it and it's fine by me. It's gonna look like from the back, you can't hardly even tell. Like I said, I'll, I'll silicone that little hole back there. Now all I gotta do, I'll, I'll find someone to mount this. And what I'm gonna do is, this is a bunch of wire. I thought about splicing it, but I think I can just tidy it up and wrap it up real neat. But basically, you know, you got your positive and your negative. And I'm just gonna go negative there, positive over here. I'm not gonna put it in these plugs because the plug wires are pretty small and it's gonna pull a good bit of amperage or load and I just, I don't need it on there. I'm gonna save these for accessories. Like I'm gonna wire in my little radio, um, the charge plug right there, and, but I'm putting the winch to basically the battery. All right, just a quick shot of what I got. I, I self tap screws these up in here. This or wasn't really, these weren't flush, they were in the middle. So I just zip tied this to this. I brought all the wire back together and zip tied it neat as I could. So <clears throat> those ones go, like I said, to the winch. And the one from the circuit breaker goes over here to the pulse bar I installed. Neutral, hot, right there. So it's all wired up. It's going to work with the key on. The key has to be on. And like I said, I'll silicone that hole up. But, I mean, everybody's going to do it their own way. Ooh, that doesn't look very professional. It's nasty. I mean, that some bitch looks good for me at the camp. You know what I'm saying? I use it literally when I pick up a hog or something. Plus, I got this extra wire if I ever need it. You know, if this circuit breaker ever goes out, I'm gonna cut right here, cut right here, and put a regular old, you know, inline fuse in it. Should have probably done that at the beginning and kept some spares, but whatever. That's what I'm gonna do. This is how it's set up. I'll probably never use the wired because the winch came with a wireless controller, but we'll, I'm gonna turn the key on and we'll, we'll test it out. Where is that damn wireless winch at? There it is. So, Turn this key on. It says press and hold until the blue light comes on. It's on. Now all works. Of course, you know, if you're winching extensively, you're going to want to have the damn engine running, but the sun bitch works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, the synthetic line in there, I'll get it wired up or get it wrapped all up around there good. And then I'll get like a bag of corn, or two bags of corn, and we'll just like do a demonstration, watch it pull it up. But I mean, it's gonna be super handy to have during hunting season, but I'll probably never use the wired. I'll probably just always use the, the wireless, but the wire's there if I ever need it. All right, so I put the black winch hook on. I got it all, all the synthetic rope back on there. I mean, I didn't figure I had to show y'all how to freaking wind up the winch, but so now I'll, I'll pull her in the garage over there and we'll put uh, two bags of corn on there and pretend it's a hog and suck it on up. But what she looks like. All right, so for demonstration purposes, you know, I got those, oh, I got 100 pounds of corn right there being a hog, so. Well, that's really all I got. Uh, just kind of want to do a quick little video on, you know, I've seen this before and I had it envisioned in my mind and I've been wanting this since last year when I had to drag them hogs to a ditch where I could back down and pick them up. And I mean, I'm not the weakest individual. So all I know is it's going to help. It's going to be handy as shit. But anyway, hope y'all liked it. Yeah. You got any questions, if you want any measurements or anything, just uh, put a comment in here and, and I'll get back to you. Till next time. God bless.